Since time immemorial, man has always been in search of something higher and superior to himself. The early men were nature worshippers. They believe that the various natural forces were different gods and the natural disasters were caused due to displeasure of any of those gods. This innate hankering led man on a journey of spirituality. Over the years, as the time changed, so did spirituality gradually culminated into organized form of religion. The first organized form of religion started in the East where the Vedas ushered in new ray of light and truth for the world. Far from what it is projected today, Hinduism is actually a monotheistic faith that is, it believes only in one God. But yes, it believes that there are many different ways to attain the same God. Buddhism too started in the East and shares many common beliefs with Hinduism. The basic tenet of Buddhism is to focus upon individual sadhana to attain enlightenment or bodhi. In the West, the organized form of religion is Christianity. They believe that Jesus Christ is the God incarnate and to follow Him is to follow God. In the Middle East, the first major form of religion was Islam. Islam believes that God the Supreme Being has no image or idol and Muhammad is the messenger of that God. Unlike other faiths, they do not worship or adore Muhammad. Among so many different paths, is there any common ground? The answer to this question was aptly given by a 20th century seer from India, Sri Sri Thakur Anukul Chandra. He not only preached but also practiced this common ideology. Over the span of 80 years, Sri Sri Thakur dictated volumes of literature upon varieties of topics starting from politics, literature, art and culture, science and religion and many more. Around him grew up a universal spiritual body called Satsang with millions of followers among different religious groups, caste, creed and sect all over the world. In this web series we will try to understand how by applying Sri Sri Thakur's ideology we can eradicate the problem of religious intolerance from this world once and for all. We will also draw similarities among the various religious scriptures in the light of Sri Sri Thakur's ideology and try to do away with all the distortions which came up with the tides of time. In a world which is suffering from religious intolerance, accepting and understanding each other's faith is the only way out. Let us bring a future of peace, bliss and prosperity together.